So we'll go ahead and introduce ourselves. My name is Andrea Bruciata. I'm Matthew Bohannon. And I'm Tim Sage. And we're doing first impressions, and actually first impressions do matter. They, uh, they weigh a lot on somebody's mental image of who you are. So we're going to do a little activity right now. We'd like each of you to stand up, please. Stand up. And then go ahead and uh, turn to your neighbor and give them a handshake. that you shook their hand, if you notice how tightly they gripped your hand, or if they were sweating, or if you could smell them, or whatever, all, the, all these <laughs> things matter to first impression. Whenever you go to meet somebody, it's very important that you make a good first impression, because that's the only impression you're ever going to get. It's a mental image of what they think of you. So, one thing that a lot of people like to do before they do presentations, like the last group presented, um, they like to do power poses, or before they go into an interview, or before they go into a meeting, they do a power pose by themselves in, a, in, in their room with nobody around, where they do like this, just make themselves feel good and feel powerful. That's why it's called a power pose. And so that, that helps with the first impression, if you can do a power pose and get your confidence up, because confidence and trustworthiness is the two most important things which we'll get into a little bit more later on when doing a first impression. And so religion is also very important. Religion and culture kind of go hand in hand. Um, you don't know what somebody's going to be about. Like, if you don't know about their religion, you don't know if you're going to step on their toes, if you're going to insult them or offend them. <coughs> so it's very important to know who you're dealing with. Maybe do a little bit of research before you uh, meet with them or whatever you have to do to understand them as a person. And body language, I, in my opinion, body language is the very most important because you can tell a lot off of somebody just by body language without ever speaking, um, just looking at them and seeing the way they move or their facial expressions. It, it tells a lot about somebody. So I think it's very important. Like I mentioned, eye contact. It's very important whenever you talk to somebody. If you don't look them in the eye, they're probably not going to believe you. Okay, so whenever you make a first impression, there's a wide um, amount of characteristics that we judge people on. Posture, their accent, their voice, the way they're dressed, their hair, hair color, maybe just the way they're walking. Um, and that's usually what everybody thinks that you know, a person is judged on. Um, so here's a little fun fact. Uh, to do research, 38% of first impressions are determined by the way a person speaks, the volume in their voice, the tone, their emotion. And then 55% is on physical appearances. So you might judge somebody on what wearing, if they have a, maybe a disability or something like that. And then also, um, there's been research that's been done, and they state that um, a person is not likely to remember uh, what another person says. Maybe a, but they're able to retain about 50% of what a person says. So that's also extremely important, um, is that, you know, you have to value somebody's time. You know, if you're running late or, you know, arriving on time, that's also extremely important, and you will get judged uh, that way. And now we're going to go on to the two characteristics of how you're actually judging a person. So we have Tim. Okay. So in the article that we read, um, Amy Cuddy, she was a social psychologist at uh, Harvard Business. And what she determined was the two things we evaluate people on when we meet them are uh, confidence and trustworthiness. So the way she went about actually finding these things out is she did a uh, sample uh, test on about 24 different cultures. So she had a wide array of beliefs and values. And after the study and the analysis of it, she determined that these are the two common things that was apparent in each culture. Um, so the basic definition of confidence is, it's just a feeling of belief that one can rely on somewhere or something. And we got a picture of a little kid here thinking he's a superhero, <laughs> trying to take on any villain. Uh, on the trustworthiness side, it's deserving of trust or confidence. And you can see that confidence in its definition, or tr confidence is in the definition of trustworthiness. Um, as you see here, this isn't a trustworthy guy. It is a car salesman. Um, it's a cliche, but sorry for anybody who car, used car salesman. Um, another important thing she did talk about in the article is when we view somebody as these two traits, it's very rare to see somebody as both confident and trustworthy. 
and it's very rare to see somebody having either one. Um, the middle ground is you're either going to see them as having confident and not trustworthy, or they're going to be trustworthy and not confident when you meet them for the first time. And to continue on with that, uh, we're going to compare the two, because in the article Amy also talks about, she values one more than the other. She actually sees trustworthiness as being a more important trait to convey when you're meeting somebody for the first time. But even with that said, confidence still has its positives. Um, when you meet somebody for the first time, it shows you're confident. It really gives a strong first impression. And through that first impression, you know, you show you're capable of enacting on your uh, intentions. The, the negative side to being confident is, as we as a society, I guess, we overweigh the importance of expressing strength, strength and confidence. And in doing that, in, in when you're meeting somebody the first time, you tend to dominate the conversation, meaning you're leaving the other party feeling either threatened or just basically put out, and you're not getting the true nature of the other person if you're dominating the conversation. The other aspect of that is if you're dominating a conversation and the other person you're trying to talk to is also wanting to dominate the conversation, you basically just butting heads, and you're actually not accomplishing anything, and it's a big waste of time. So the most important thing to take off this slide is the trustworthiness part. Um, she feels it's, it's the most important trait because trust is the channel through which ideas travel. It's the first and foremost thing that needs to accomplish in relationships in order for relationships to build and prosper. Um, ways you can show trustworthiness is warmth and compassion, and uh, trust opens them up to what you have to say, and it also opens you up to what they're saying. And to further enhance that, since trust is a very important impression that we need to make on people. Um, Amy talks about in the article, how do we convey trust when we first meet somebody? So her idea was to let them speak first or have the floor first. I don't know if you guys have ever run into any situation where you're going to a meeting, an interview, or a social event, and you come up to somebody and there's that awkward silence. To alleviate that awkward <coughs> silence, she simply just says, ask them a question. Just make sure the question is relevant to the situation you're in. Don't make it obscene or anything like that. Um, the other ways to convey is just showing warmth. You know, it makes them feel understood, and that's something that they want. As, as an interaction between people, they want to feel understood. And in front of the mat, talk about the business aspect of the first impression. All right, so how these two articles relate to business is, in one of the articles, the Amy Cuddy was talking about first impressions and how important they are and the factors that contribute to a first impression. And then in the other article, it was <coughs> implying that it, it was more about the communication aspect of business and how nowadays people in sales, uh, which is typically most businesses, um, do communication through email. And whenever they're trying to set up a meeting or whatever, they'll send an email instead of giving them a phone call. And if you do that, it doesn't go as far as if you were to give them a call, set the meeting up, and then actually see them in person whenever you have the meeting. If you do an email, I mean, you just send them words on a computer. You, you don't get any tone of voice. Uh, you don't You don't get to read the person a, at all. And so it kind of just messes it up, the meeting, already from the get-go, before you've already been there. And that's it's tough, and you, nobody wants to go through that. And the world is really fast-paced, and it's within close proximity now. Most companies do, businesses, do business overseas, so Maybe they go, their headquarters is here in America, but they do work with their factory or manufacturing plant is in China. They fly to China and they only go once a year. Well, if you make a bad first impression whenever you're in China, whenever you're doing with your business partner, you come back, how is that person ever going to trust you or have confidence that they'll be able to continue the partnership? It just doesn't work. So first impressions are very important. Uh, and culture is very important because, as he said, Amy Cuddy did uh, the study on 24 different cultures. And um, out of the 24 cultures, it came down to two things, trustworthiness and confidence. It didn't matter where they were from, what they looked like, how they talked, or their accent. It was trust and confidence. If they could tr have trust in who they were dealing with, and they were confident in who they were dealing with, that they were confident in themselves, then that's all that mattered to them. So, I mean, people's values and beliefs vary but it just comes down to trust and confidence, uh, but most and foremost. And then we'll go to the next slide. 
And so the summary for what we're talking about, the two most important traits in a first impression are confidence and trustworthiness. You've heard me say that uh, time and time again right now. It's trust and confidence. And then first impressions are important in business because they only happen once. Convey trust by allowing the other person to speak first. Ask them a question. If you don't know what to do in a dialogue or a conversation, ask the, ask the question. You want to listen twice as much as you speak. And trust is more important than confidence because it is the channel through which ideas travel. If you don't trust somebody, you're not going to be able to do anything with them. And I mean, that's our presentation, and we have a quiz right here, but always remember that you can only make a first impression once. Um, quiz time? Quiz for you guys. Can you slide your paper? Sorry. <laughs> would, um, would one of you read the quiz questions? Just go ahead and put them up there and then just read them out loud. Why can trust be a more important trait to convey than confidence? 